Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Dewey and welcome to Sturman's Contract with the Devil. Sturman Contract with the Devil is a visual novel dungeon crawler hybrid featuring highly tactical turn-based RPG battles, challenging dungeon puzzles, optional minigames, and most importantly a lot of cute anime girls. Hooray! And uh, this game just reminded me uh, of uh, Sakura Dungeon because of the way it just like announced itself. That's why I like, I was like, wait, hold on, is this like Sakura Dungeon? And, now, and then I forgot I was reading that. <laughs> and then, uh, all right. So without further ado, everybody, let's go right in. Ooh, okay. So, seems like we only have a uh, ninja to go with right now. And your name? <gasps> what should her name be? Hmm. Uh. Well. You know what? Let's go with. Perfect. Or actually, let's go with the. Oh, I can't finish that. <laughs> the gooey hentai. I just go with Gav gooey. Whatever. All right. She'll she'll have. You know, it's fine. Where am I? It's pitch black, I can't see anything. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Music controller to play. Eh, I can't move. Hmm, doesn't seem like I'm restrained or blindfolded, so it's not kidnapping. Um, are you sure? I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, even if you're in a dark room, you're not blindfolded or restrained, you're just in a dark room. I'm pretty sure it could be kidnapping. Oh well, whatever, I'm going back to sleep. Hey, wait a minute. <gasps> you have no idea where this is. You can't see a single thing. You can't move at all. How do you just go back to sleep like it's none of your business? Hmm, don't most problems just disappear on their own when you go to sleep? Well, what if I tell you this is the afterlife and you will be permanently dead if you fall asleep? <gasps> this weird place is the afterlife? It actually doesn't sound that far-fetched. That, that, does that mean I'm dead? No way, that sucks. There are still so many things I want to do. Uh, wait a second. And who are you, the Reaper? Close, but not quite. In human terms, I would be a devil. Hey, devil, you said I would be permanently dead if I fall asleep. Does that mean I'm still alive right now? Oh, not bad, human. Your physical body is dead, but your soul is indeed still barely alive. I can bring you, your soul back to the living world and perfectly reconstruct your body. For price, of course. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> that was it. It's like, uh, okay, deal. That's it. Wait. I haven't even told you what the price is yet. Hey, anything beats being dead. Oh, uh, whatever. We have a deal then. My name is Lucifer. Oh, should I change the voice? My name is Lucifer. What's yours, human? I'm Cav Gooey. Nice to meet you, Lucy. Why does everyone call me Lucy? Eh, sorry about that. They don't call me Lucy. I have a deep voice, so I'm not Lucy. Maybe. Anyway, Kevguri, you're now officially bound by a revival contract in exchange for a second life. And see you in the living world. <gasps> I'm losing consciousness. Oh, my head. Wow. I woke up to a rather shocking sight. Everything around me shines brightly as if it's cladded in pure gold. Even a royal chamber would probably be hard pressed to match this kind of luxury. I think I know what a royal chamber looks like. Alright, it's in parentheses, I'm just speaking my voice. Well, I'm definitely no longer in the afterlife, but what is this place? <gasps> Someone's coming! Oh. Well, yes, I guess Lucifer's a girl. I'll change, I'll change the voice. It took a while, but you finally woke up. Huh. Girl with beautiful lavender hair appeared in front of me. The elegant crimson dress perfectly complements her cute face and petite figure, making her as pretty as a doll. She's so cute. Hmm, we look about the same age, but judging from her high class aura, I guess she's the owner of this place. Although, those black wings. Not a human. I've heard that voice before. Are you Lucy? Yes, I am. L I mean, no, my name is not Lucy. It's Lucifer! L-U-C-I-F-E-R! Why does everyone always call me Lucy? 
Is it because I'm so short that my name has to be short as well? Is that it? Hmm. Saying Lucy every time sounds like a pain, so I'll pass. Besides, Lucy, Lucy is a lovely name, so isn't it a perfect fit for a cute girl like you? <gasps> well, if you say so, I, I guess I can't let it slide this time. Heh, <laughs> this is definitely not what I expected a double would be. Anyway, how is your body feeling? Tried moving around a bit. Everything felt natural, like I just woke up from a good night's sleep. Hmm. Pinch. Ouch! This is not a dream after all, huh? Hmm, come to think of it, I'm naked right now. No, you're not, you're wearing clothes! Well, I guess Lucy did say she would reconstruct my body. Of course, my clothes wouldn't just conveniently come as a package. Huh. Squeeze. Huh. Squeeze, squeeze. Nice, it didn't get any smaller. Huh. How is it? Anything abnormal at all? Everything's perfect. It's hard to believe this is not my original body. That was sure amazing. Uh, hmm, of course. By the way, Lucy. Oh, is it about the contract? I'll explain. Hmm, that too. But first, do you have any spare clothes for me to wear? Uh, actually, wouldn't it be, be a bit hard for me to fit in your... Hmm. Lucy, I found some spare clothes. Who are you? Oh, hey, Maria, you're back. Hmm, I've seen those wings in our clan's books before. So this is a real fairy. I was just about to say that, too. Hey, Abdui, this is Maria, my assistant. Oh, wow, it's hardly anything surprising at this point concerning what I just went through. Nice to meet you, Abdui. Nice to meet you, too, Maria. Oh, I mean, nice to meet you, too, Maria. <laughs> and here you go. Maria handed me a familiar set of clothes. <gasps> Receive Kunoichi outfit. This is our clan's outfit. The scarf is a bit torn, but there's no doubt it matches perfectly down to the smallest details. How did you get this? It's exactly the same as what I usually wear. Hmm, somebody gave this to me a while ago. Who was it? Someone from my clan is here? Who can it be? But well, you like it, right? I'm glad. Yes, it's perfect. Thanks, Maria. Oh, well, I can worry about that later. Well, Kavgui, the revival costs a huge amount of magic power and you will have to be bound by an appropriate compensation. Are you scared? I might just take your soul. Not really. You're kind, Lucy, so you won't do anything like that. Hmm, you'll be talking to me won't help you lessen the contract, okay? Anyway, the details are written here. Take a look. Lucy handed me a huge stack of paper. Ah, good. Wait, how many pages is that? Ten? No, twenty? Can you just give me a summary? I don't want to read all that. Ah, no way. I worked so hard to write everything down. Uh, seems like a pain to read, but looks like Lucy put a, quite a lot of effort into it. Well, I mean, you're putting a contract out. I'm pretty sure, you know, they have to put in everything in there, you know, just to uh, make sure there's no loop de holes. Hmm, I'll just read the contract. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Fine, fine, I'll read it. Well, yeah, I take your time and read everything carefully, okay? Let's see here. So, I have to pay you a large amount of money over the next few weeks. The payment will be divided into multiple parts. During this time, leaving the, this, the demon world is forbidden. Other than that, I can freely move around and do whatever I want. Hmm, sounds good to me. Wait a minute. Did you not read everything? I think it's light if you can't manage to pay for the contract on time, you'll die. I prepared all the necessary financial plans for you in there. Go through them again and memorize everything, okay? And yeah, that sounds like a pain, so I'll pass. But don't worry, I'll figure everything out later. So all said and done, this is a surprisingly light deal for a second life. I guess Lucy's a kind girl after all. Anyway, I'm living here with you from now on, Lucy. <gasps> no, no, you will live in Maria's house. Hmm. Call you from time to time, but never come here without checking with me first, got it? Heh. <laughs> I'm definitely paying her a surprise visit later. Hey, Maria. Where is it, Lucy? I'll leave Kabgui to you. Take care of her, okay? Sure, let's get along, Kabgui. I'll be in your care then. Well, the revival must have been pretty tiring. You should probably go home with Maria and rest for today. All right, see you later then, Lucy. Bye-bye. Let's go, Kabgui. Take my hand. We're going home. Whoa. What just happened? We just kind of teleported. And if you like ninjutsu, then was it magic? I had a magic waypoint set up here. Anyone who has one of these charms can come here instantly whenever they want. You just have to think about it and poof, isn't that convenient? Wow, the demon world is amazing. 
Thanks here, I'll give you one as well. Receive Maria's charm. Anyway, this will be your room from now on. Take a quick look around. Everything's neatly organized and there's plenty of space to move around. It's certainly not as luxurious as Lucy's place, but it does have a nice and cozy feeling. I decorated everything here on my own, what do you think? Hmm, it's a nice room. Thanks, Maria. Glad you like it. Well, you should rest early for today. I'll show you around the town tomorrow. Hmm, it's early, but I'm getting pretty tired. I guess I'll go to sleep. Oh. Is where I save? I guess so. That's where I save. Um. All right. I pressed X. I don't know what happened. I I, I was like, uh, apparently I didn't press the right thing. Hmm. Well, the sun is already up. How long did I sleep for? Well, I'm, I'm all refreshed now, so that's all good. Good morning, Kevin. Did you sleep well? Hmm, I slept like a log. Oh, yeah, that's some breakfast. And let's take a look around town, okay? Hmm, do you have a kitchen, Maria? I'll make something as thanks for the room. Let's see, there's a kitchen here, but it's currently out of commission, I guess. Out of commission? Show me. Maybe I can get it fixed. Okay, follow me. Oh, uh, what happened here? Here it is. Huh. It looks like a kitchen, but almost everything has been frozen solid. The ice is dry? Is it not melting at all? Oh good, doesn't look like there's anything I can do to fix this right now. Hey Maria, what on earth happened here? Mm, let me see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Cake in 50 minutes. Mm -hmm -hmm. Fix this Maria, come play with us. Okay, I'm coming. Hee mm. <laughs> hee, that was fun. Ah, oh no, I left the stove on. Oh my, oh my, the kitchen's on fire. What should I do? Oh, I know. Ancient night nice spirits, heed my call. Forbidden magic, absolute zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess, um, absolute zero is not a way to, uh, you know, stop the fires from raging. Something like that happened, I think. In a way, that's amazing. But can't you just thaw everything with fire magic? Hmm, I tried to. I'm no, not as good with fire magic as it didn't work at all. Well, now the house is always nice and cool. So everything worked out, don't you think? Hmm, that's true, I guess. Anyway, it looks like there's nothing you can do here, sorry. Hmm, don't worry about it. I'll go get something from Amelia then. Wait just a bit, okay? I'll be right back away. Back? Hmm, my body is meat bun and sweet potato. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Uh, meat bun and sweet potato, I love both. Alright, Maria, you're choosing for me. You pick first, Maria, I'll take the other one. Really? Thanks, you have gooey. Now I'll take this one. Sweet potato hot, do you like sweet food, Maria? Yep, I love them. Hmm, but I love meat buns too. Never mind, let's dig in. I love both. Ah, I'm stuffed. I was curious about how food in the demo would be, but it looks like it's not very different. That was super delicious, thanks, Maria. Glad you like it. Anyway, let's go, Kev Gooey, I'll show you around town. Hmm, sure, let's go. Come on, Kev, the exit this way. Eh? Hey, Maria, aren't we going to teleport around town? You know, just think about it and poof. Hmm, besides the dungeon entrance, this is the only waypoint in the demon world, I think. It can only be set up in places with a lot of natural magic power, you know. Wait a minute, if you're way not teleporting around, then does that mean... Go, Kev Gooey, hell the shove is only half... It's only an hour walk away. An hour walk? The second thought, Maria, I'm staying here. Eh, hey, what's wrong, Kev Gooey? Walking around town sounds like a real pain. I don't wanna go. Don't you know, Maria, it's basic etiquette for humans to take a nap right before a great meal. You know, to show we appreciate how delicious the food was. Eh, really? Hmm, Hilda never told me about this before. So I'm going back to bed. Yes, it can't be helped if it's basic etiquette. I'll wake you up before lunch, okay? Sure, yeah, that'll be great. Hee <laughs> hee, victory! Hey, Kev Gooey. Wake up, Kev Gooey, it's almost lunchtime. Hmm. Ah, uh, that was a great nap. Let's go, Kev Gooey, we're going to Amelia's pub for lunch. Amelia. Oh, that's where Maria bought the uh, breakfast earlier. Hmm, Maria's trip this morning didn't take very long, so it's probably not that far away. Alright, let's go. Um, actually, it's only 9.30 right now. Right around 11.30, we head straight to the pub. Oh, 
The lunch hour was only after 12. What should I do? Oh, I know. I shall carry you around town in the meantime. Hey, Kevin, let's take a detail to the Hilda shop first. Ugh, why does everything have to be so far away? Who wants to lay around that comfy bed all day? Oh, well, I guess the other characters have to be introduced somehow. Ah, thanks. Hmm, that sounds great. Let's go, Maria. Let's go. Hmm, might as well try to have fun if I have to go. Huh, interesting. We're here. This is the item shop. Hey, this looks like quite a large shop. Weapons, armors, books, medicine, it has everything an adventurer would ever need. But it's kind of strange. There doesn't seem to be anything valuable on display at all. And are you there? It's Maria. Oh, hello. Good morning, Miss Maria. What brings you here today? I agree, this is Hilda, the owner of this shop. She's a human just like you. Hmm, it's different from Lucy, but I can definitely feel some kind of high class air around this girl as well. I wonder who she is. Well, whatever, that doesn't have anything to do with me anyway. It was also revived by Lucy and we lived together for a while. We opened this item shop together to pay for our contract. Burying a human, opening an item shop to pay a debt. Ah, oh, that sounds familiar. Ah, oh. hmm, ah, oh. hmm. Sounds very familiar. Hmm. Heh, where have I seen this setting before? Ah, hmm. But, uh, it got so popular that Hilda kept the business going even after fulfilling her contract, and here we are! So all thanks to you, Miss Maria, I never could have done it on my own. Anyway, Hilda, this is Kefku. She was just revived by Lucy yesterday, so I'm showing her around. Nice to meet you, Hilda. It's my pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Miss Kefku. That sounds kind of weird. Oops, oh well. Um, please wait here just a bit for a bit. I would like to give you a little welcome gift. Ooh, here it is. I hope you will find this helpful. Receive Warden Katana, yeah! Wow, that looks like a perfect weapon for you, Kefgui. Come on, try equipping it. Right click, escape. Alright, the start button. Ooh. Quippy, 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 quip. The quest. Oh, I just, have to, I just have to scroll down. Never mind. Hmm, it's perfect. Thanks a lot, Hilda. You're most welcome, Miss Kefgui. Anyway, Kefgui, you should come here if you ever need to buy or sell anything. Oh, that's right. Aren't you currently looking to expand the shop, Hilda? Maybe you can hire Kefgui to help. Yes, I would like to offer our crafting services in the near future as well. Alas, I can't seem to find anyone skilled enough in craftsmanship yet. But that still looks like a distant reality. Hmm, I'm curious about crafting, so I probably won't be any of help either. Sorry, Hilda. Please don't worry about it, Miss Kefgui. Just having your kind thoughts is enough. Bad, huh, Kefgui? If you work here with Hilda, then your debt is as good as settled. Hmm. Oh no, it's right, we're loving. Let's go, Kefgui. We'll be late for the event at this rate. I don't get it, but looks like we need to go. I'll see you later then, Hilda. Bye, Hilda. Please take care, you two. Hmm. Good riddance. Wow, what a... What a biatch. Yeah. How the hell did they take... Stay for so long? They even went out on my way to get that girl a freebie, yet they didn't buy a freaking thing. When they finally leave, it's because of Amelia's free. What the heck? Amelia this, Amelia that, there is Amelia. Oh, never mind. She's not be arch. She's a, she's very jealous. A jealous girl. What's so good about her food anyway? It's food? They only have perfect textures and seasonings. Well, there you go. Perfect. She resists me appetizing aromas and are by far better than anything I can make. Oh, uh, whatever. Kevgoo, you was it? She's going to my list. Wow, we just met for like two seconds. Calm down. Knock, knock. <gasps> a customer. Okay, all good. Good morning, animal customer. How may I help you? Good morning, Hilda. Oh, it's just you, Arissa. Are you by yourself today? Oh. An <laughs> honorable customer. Hilda's such a nice girl, don't you think? Yeah, she seems really polite and considerate. No wonder her shop is popular. Something about her felt a bit off, but eh, whatever. Oh, here we are. This is Amelia's pub. Hey, is this a lunch combo ready yet? I've been queuing for ages. Side character one, side character two. Oh, be patient, man. It's not 12 yet. We've only been here for five minutes. Uh, uh, I'm gonna c c c confess to Amelia today. 157 in front. Eight, two, dispose of eight, four, lunch combo. Wait, what the heck is that? Huge group of people, demons are lined up in front of your counter. Hey Maria, are all of them here for lunch? 
Yep, everyone loves Mia's lunch combo, you know. Oh, Mia's lunch combo, huh? I want to try it. Shouldn't we join the queue then? Most people are still coming. Hey, I always get my combo by helping Millie out, so I don't have to queue at all. Eh, yeah, then what should I? Oh, nice timing, Maria. Maria, there's more people today than usual, so we're getting a bit short-handed. Maria's in the kitchen. Can you go join her? Um, sure. See you later, Kaguri. Hmm, wait a minute. Who is this girl, Maria? Oh, this is Kaguri. She was just revived by Lucy yesterday, so I'm showing her around. Ah, so she's a human. That makes sense. I thought it was strange that someone I don't know we could use a third form. Anyway, Kaguri, just stay around here, alright? I'll share my love combo with you later. Uh, she's gone. What am I supposed to do now? Staying here and doing nothing will bore me to death. Are we ordering the queue after all? Well, Kaguri, do you want to join our event? Hmm. Um, what is this event about? I haven't heard anything about it from Maria yet. Oh, is that so? Hmm, we will have... We still have some time before it's 12. Alright, I'll explain the rules to you. Once every two weeks, we'll organize a special event here in the pub. Everyone who registered will be divided into four different groups. All groups will then com compete among themselves on in one-on-one -on -one single elimination battle tournaments until a winner from each group is chosen. Four winners will get a free lunch combo each. Um, how many people are there in the event? Let me see, right now there are 124 registered for today's event. 124 and only four winners? There is a time limit of 10 minutes for every round. If there's still an unfinished battle after that time, then both contestants will be disqualified. Although, if it's the final, then the referee will decide on victor. Also, after every round, the contestant will be given a 10 minute break. Other than that, there's no rules. All kinds of equipment, skills, and magic are permitted. No participation fees, but also no cancellation prizes for the losers. That's it, did you get everything? Isn't that a bit da too dangerous? What if someone gets hurt? Don't worry, Kev Good, no one will ever get hurt in this event. Oh, hey Lucy, you are here too? But, what do you mean? Isn't this the demon world? How can everyone be safe in a battle tournament with no rules? Well, everyone in the demon world, including you, is always protected by magic barriers. No matter how strong the attacks are, they won't ever seriously harm you. Really? That's amazing! So, thanks to Alice's research. Ah, uh, if only she'd return here a bit more often. Well, you would still feel some exhaustion, so be careful. Wait, what about the pub itself? Wouldn't it be damaged if people fight here? Hmm, there are two places in the whole demon world where all objects are also protected by barriers. The event area of this pub is one of them, so don't worry, battling here won't cause any problems at all. Most of the time, that's how it is. Hmm, you know what? Let's join the event! I've been fought seriously for a while. This should be fun. Sure, I'll join the event. Great, right, then please fill in your name here. Here you go. Alright, Kevin, you're in Group B. Good luck. B, huh? Yeah, too bad. You're in my group. I might just let you win. Hey, are you fighting to Lucy? Hmm, not really. I'm the referee of Group A. Hey, <laughs> hey. I always get my lunch combo for free, you know. Are you jealous? Well, it's your first time here, so I'll make you a special exception and share mine with you today. Come to Group A after you lose, okay? Eh. <laughs> I may not look it, but I'm pretty strong in battle, you know. Oh, is that so? Hmm, you actually seem pretty, quite decent for a human. Maybe getting past the first round won't be impossible after all. Huh. Alright, time to win. Almost hot. Oh, I have to go to my group. See you later, Cap Gooey. Hmm, group B, over here, there. Looks, looks like it's starting soon. Alright, I might, I should go as well. Good afternoon, everyone. I'll be in charge of group B today. Eh, I should, I... I thought we would be lucky enough to get Mila as a referee this week, but it's just as flat again. Nah. Demon 1, you're disqualified. Ha ha ha, during the queue then. Demon Chivalry walked away while laughing out loud. His opponent is Iris. We have free win for the first round. Huh, I think I would advance without spending any effort. How shameful. Winning the first round just like that? I was expecting my rival. Alright, I'm pumped up. Just watch the Iris. I'll get two free wins. Yeah, the demon world looks like a lot of fun. Everyone here seems really strong. Winning the whole thing is gonna, not going to be easy. Well, everyone, I've, cop I've copied the first round matchups on this board over here. Good luck and find your opponent. We'll start in five minutes. Good luck. Hmm, my opponent for the first round is Kiku. I thought I have no idea who that is. Oh, who are you? Seems to be in some trouble. Do you need any help? I don't know who you are. Who are you? Ah, oh, you're that girl. We got a default win. Uh, I am just ashamed. Is that even something to be ashamed of? Hmm, now that I have a closer look, this girl sure is a weird one. Wearing a meter and metal armor when going for lunch, not to mention that huge ass lance. And her wings are way too big. How did she even fit through the door? Ah, uh, did I break a hole in the wall again? It's alright, she already paid for the repairs and cleaned everything up as usual. 
Why doesn't she just retract the wings anyway? I'm getting sick of having to repair them. Why every day? <laughs> every day? Uh, uh, the bonus is good at least. Actually, you, don't you think we should build a bigger door just for her? We only wanted to do that before, but Iris insisted that she shouldn't. Think about it, we don't have to treat her like she's special. Kind of hard not to though, after all, she is, isn't she the... Uh, I guess she didn't fit through the door after all. Um, is there any, something wrong? You've been staring at me for a while. Oh, I really mean to think I would offer to help without introducing myself. I'm Iris, the 15th heir to the Dragon Clan. Please to make your acquaintance. Oh, the heir to the Dragon Clan, huh? Probably get along then. It's me, you too, Iris. I'm Kev Dewey. I'm only under a revival contract to Lucy. Lucy? Oh, you mean Lucifer? I see it's great that you two are ready in such great terms. Hmm, explain my current situation to Iris. Hmm, I see. So you don't know who your opponent is. Yeah, the revival was only yesterday, so I haven't met a lot of people around here yet. I wonder for the first round to Kiku. Do you know who that is? Oh, look, Kiku is it. Do I know her? She's a friend. Wait for a second. I'll find her for you. I'm going to assume she's a big, big, like, muscular, like, girl just, like, ready to pound me to death. Found her. That was fast. Look at this character, your opponent. Hmm, so you're my opponent? Oh. Oh, I, I was mistaken. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, too bad for you having to, face, having to face me in the first round. You know why I'm feeling generous today. I like you give up right now. Wait, I won't have to hurt you. Uh, so you want to give up? Um, I wish she could, the kid really be allowed to join a battle tournament like this. How rude, I have you know I just turned 12 last month. Ready, I'm already a responsible adult. It's just about the trigger matter, kid. You imagine it's a fire in one tart. Uh, what should I do? Barely be beating out with kids for lunch? <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Okay? That's your only option. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Wow, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Wow, okay, well, we will see in the next episode what uh, the battle will be like between uh, me and uh, Kiku here because uh, this is a this is a very interesting fight uh, that looks like. Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, anyways, this is Stormench, everybody. Contract with the Devil. You guys can check out this game for yourself the link is down below in the description if you guys enjoyed this episode then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one goodbye